So uh, I am Jean Favre, Visualization Task Leader at CSCS, the Swiss Supercomputing Center. Uh, what we're presenting here is a scientific visualization of the combustion process in a piston-like geometry, which we show over here. So the air would be coming from the uh, upper part of the cylinder here, and we are interested about the turbulence of this mixing region here, which we are showing in two different ways. So on the left side here, we have a volume rendering of the vorticity. At this moment, a particular snapshot at a fixed uh, time during the simulation of velocity, magnitude, and pressure. We go back to the visualization of the velocity magnitude here, and we're going to reach a point here where there is the, the recall of the uh, fluid into the upper chamber. And this is a cyclic phenomenon. However, the conditions here, after the first cycle, the conditions of air mixture and pressure have changed, so the turbulence is a non-periodic uh, phenomenon, if we want. The software we, which we have used for this visualization is VISIT. It is an open source uh, visualization software, very uh, powerful, developed here, in, developed in America by the DOE labs, uh, Lawrence Berkeley, Oak Ridge, Lawrence Livermore. The particularity of VISIT it, is that it has a direct interface to the NEC 5000 data format. NEC 5000 is the name of the soft, the combustion solver used by our two colleagues, scientists at ETH Zurich. The NEC 5000 code is developed at Argonne National Lab. At CSCS, we run a NEC 5000 code on Monte Rosa. Uh, the difficulty with this particular uh, simulation is that it is a time-dependent process. So we have data uh, which is saved on disk at very frequent interval of time. Here we see the time resolution to be uh, the 100th of a second. We have a moving geometry. So if this was a big problem for the, for the visualization because the mesh actually is stored in a static fashion and I had myself to develop the plugin to actually show the expansion of this uh, cylinder. The second challenge is that we had to, to do the visualization in parallel on our uh, CSCS visualization cluster. To give you an idea of the requirements for visualization, we used 64 cores, i.e. 64 MPI tasks to do the volume rendering here on my left. Whereas this uh, particular slice display here is a, can be done a lot, in a lot more efficient fashion because VISIT, our visualization software, has some uh, optimization based on spatial extents and numerical value extents. So when we do a slice through a volume, we actually only read the data necessary for this particular view here. So the rendering was done with two different scripts separately. One window for this particular, the pressure display here, and the second one here, which was run in parallel, and then the rest was composed via a video encoding uh, process. Now, to do a visualization that uh, can be, can be uh, viewed at the supercomputing conference, I have to do uh, some very, very precise work here. So, what you see here in the final product is actually uh, the 12th or 13th iteration of this particular rendering. So, it is a very compute intensive process because there's many, many difficulties that arise in the process. The simulation was done in multiple batches such that Monte Rosa could accommodate jobs of a smaller uh, capacity. So if you want, the first set of results go to about three seconds of simulation. Then we have a second set of results, then a third set, 
And when I do the visualization, I have to do a completely smooth integration going from one data series to the next series. And this, however, was quite problematic. So I spent a lot of time uh, with this. Another issue we had with the uh, particular rendering here is that the outside geometry is an STL file. STL file is used as an input to the NEC 5000 combustion solver. However, it has a lot of in artifacts, and those artifacts were mostly shown on this particular view here on the left uh, in the form of many wrong internal surfaces which I had to remove with the appropriate filtering. So when we see, what we see here now is the final product, the full cylinder with the piston sliced in two where all those graphics artifacts were removed to get the clear uh, visualization. Another issue we have is that during the, during the evolution of the simulation, the, the dynamic range of the data changes very quickly. However, for visualization, when we use pseudo coloring, uh, a range of color from a, from a certain minima and a certain maxima, we need to accommodate for this variation of time. So it requires multiple tests of the animation until we find the appropriate color rendering in terms of the, uh, the visualization here. Now, all of this was possible thanks to the uh, collaboration between the visit developer here in the US and myself at CSCS. Uh, in particular, Hank Childs from Lawrence Berkeley, in particular, Brad Whitlock from uh, Lawrence Livermore. Those two persons actually uh, helped me in resolving some, uh, some bugs in the uh, application. As a result of this, my colleagues at ETH Zurich, Christoph Ruzakis and uh, Martin Schmidt, are organizing the annual NEC 5000 user meeting, which will take place in Zurich at the beginning of December. And they've invited me also to participate in the workshop to do a tutorial on how to use the visualization software with the results of the NEC 5000 solver.